Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my daily diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Um, today it will be the book of Job, chapter 33. Wherefore, Job, I pray thee, hear my word, hear my speeches, and hearken to all my words. Behold, now I have opened my mouth, my tongue hath spoken in my mouth, my word shall be of uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. If thou canst answer me, set thy words in order before me, stand up. Behold, I am according to thy wish in God's stead. I also am formed out of the clay. Behold, my terror shall not make thee afraid, neither shall my hand be heavy upon thee. Surely thou hast spoken in mine hearing, and I have heard the voice of the word saying, of thy word saying, I am clean without transgression. I am innocent, neither is there iniquity in me. Behold, he findeth occasions against me, he counteth me for his enemy. He putteth my feet in the stocks, he marketh all my paths. Behold, in this thou art not just. I will answer thee, my God is greater than man. Why dost thou strive against him, for he giveth not account of any of his matters? For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings, some slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. Their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed and the, and the multitude of his bones with strong pain, so that his life abhorreth bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul draweth near unto the grave, and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger within him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to shew unto him man of his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him, and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. He looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not. He will deliver from his soul, his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man, to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of living. Mark well, O Job, hearken unto me. Hold thy peace, and I will speak. If thou hast anything to say, answer me. Speak, for I desire to justify thee. If not, hearken unto me. Hold thy peace, I shall teach thee wisdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, uh, you know, the, the verse that I want to start with here is Elihu speaking in Job 33, 4. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. That is some seriously powerful stuff. Seriously powerful stuff, and 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 you know, like one of the things that is so powerful about this is when when you look back at these words from a Naranjalco perspective, from a Christian perspective, it's very different than when you look at it from a Jewish perspective. You know, you look at the the Jewish perspective; it reads. Elihu's words, 
Think about think about what I'm saying here. Think like this. All the men in the Old Testament, like King David, when he says he spake by God's spirit, something like this, like he spake, he spake by God's spirit. Um, he, I think it says he spake by the mouth of the spirit. I'll go find the reference. Yeah, yeah. In 2 Samuel 23, 2, the spirit of the Lord spake by me and his word was in my tongue. So basically, David saying that he is echoing, he is learning from, he is being guided by, empowered by the Spirit of God. Okay? So now think about what the, the idea was during the time of the Old Testament, which was the, the consensus opinion was, this is a force, God's force over man, over, over, over the world, God's force, his, his, his Spirit. Then Jesus comes and says, no, the Spirit is a man. He is a man. And um, now here I am in the time of the final testament, fulfilling Jesus's uh, prophecy in you know John fourteen chapters fourteen to sixteen, and I'm saying when you look back at this, what do you, what do you think those men thought? That's some food for thought. Like, do you think that David, no matter what he, he knew the Bible would say, do you think that David recognized me as a man? I think definitely, definitely. I don't think David was saying God's spirit spake by me, for me, my opinion, because I would have been alongside these men and I dare say I would have fought alongside them as well. For example, when Gideon is under persecution, the spirit of the Lord comes upon Gideon and we send messengers to the other men. When Saul is in danger and Nahash is saying, if, if the Nahash says that line where he says to cut the eye out of the men, if he can cut one eye out of every one of them, there will be peace. The Spirit of the Lord comes upon Saul, and, we, and, and then it says they go off to fight. You know, there are so many examples of the Spirit of the Lord coming upon Samson. And so many examples. So whatever the, the consensus opinion was of the time, the consensus being, okay, the, this, is, this is a force. And then Jesus saying, it's a man. And now finally, I'm here in the final testament saying, I am the Spirit of God, Lord Naren White. The good spirit. The idea being that when Elihu says this, the spirit of God hath made me, do you think he's saying God's force made him? Or do you think he's saying Lord Naren White made him? That Lord Nair, that that one of the uh, passages says it quite well. Um, um, it made me is, is like a, for, like a, I, 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 the, one of the titles of the Spirit is the Creator Spirit. Um, one of the ones I, I like to say, the Spirit of God made Elihu who he is. So that he has, he has been, like, as Jesus teaches, born again in the Spirit. That he is guided by the Spirit to do work, to labor without complaint or excuse for God's kingdom. To labor for it. Then, after that, And the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. You know, that, that Jehovah will always be there for him. That he feels that. Okay, again, the Spirit of the God hath, uh, Spirit of God hath made him, my understanding. Elihu saying, and again, this is what I'm saying. I don't know if Elihu at that time, re, you know, like thought about the Spirit of God as a man. Like, did he recognize that this one man is the Spirit of God? I think so, but again, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything about David or any of the other men anyways. Time will tell, and most certainly there will be a resurrection one day. So that's very beautiful, as, as is uh, foretold of in, in Revelation. And um, um, so, yeah. And, and so the idea now being that, um, so he says, Elihu says, the Spirit of God hath made me. So the, that by being led and guided by God's Spirit, Elihu has become who he is. And he says, and the breath of the Almighty have given me life. So powerful. He's saying that God, Jehovah, will always be there for him. That God always answers how great Jehovah is. He's paying homage to Jehovah, giving respect to Jehovah. And Elihu, of course, does, he of course is a good man. As, he, as it's written in Job 33, 12, 
Behold, in this thou art not just. I will answer thee that God is greater than man. Very beautiful. Very beautifully written. And um, I know that those words would have rang true to Jehovah. And with that, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. I'd like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.